Hey guys, it is Friday evening, week 3 of my sub 2 half marathon training and today I have a half marathon pace workout. Half marathon pace workout is a session I do weekly to practice handle my target race pace or people call it the half marathon effort. This is a way of training I learned and start to utilize in my previous half marathon training blog. I've been getting a great feedback and improvement from the training so I continue to stick with the session in my current plan. Normally I run the workout with my half marathon goal pace 520 to 530 per K but in this workout I'm trying something different. It's going to be a very interesting workout because I mix in half marathon pace and VO2 max pace in one workout. This is my first time trying out this new workout structure. I think it's going to be a hard workout, but I'm excited to give it a try. I'm going to start the workout with 2K warm up, then 3K at half marathon pace. Take a three minute break before moving into ladder time descending at BO2 max pace. Five minute, four minute, three minute, two minute, one minute with 60 second break in between and close out the workout with 2K cooldown. For my gear, I'm wearing the carbon plated shoe, the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3. And for my nutrition, I prepare a soft blast with plain water inside and one pack of gel to take after 3k half marathon pace. So guys, I'm ready to go. Let's start the workout and wish me good luck. For warm up, I run in my easy effort. Heart rate 147 to 157 BPM. Pace now is around 7 minutes to 7.30 per K. Nothing crazy, just try to keep it relaxed and warm up the body before the main set. Finish the first 2k, take a short break to regroup the mindset before the 3k half marathon pace. My target is 520 to 530 per k. Let's go! First k, 529. The uphill is not so friendly, but we got a downhill coming forward. Let's go! Okay, that's it. Finish the 3k half marathon pace. Now we got a little short break. Ooh. Eat a gel, drink some water, just try to relax because the upcoming workout is going to be hard and I need to prepare for it. Let's go! Five minutes, your max. second break. K cool down and see you guys later. Let's take a quick look at the stat of the workout. Start with the 3K at half marathon effort. I hit the pace of 529 for the first K, 525 for the second K, and 520 for the final K. It was a nice negative split and the effort just right around where I can manage for a few more kilometers. Although there were a few small climbs in my training ground that brought the intensity up, but I was able to recover and stay controlled using the downhill and the flat road. After the half marathon effort, I took a three minute break where I catch up with my breath, took a gel and water to replenish my energy, getting ready for the second session, time descending at VO2 max pace. This is the interesting part of the workout because I need to pick up the pace to 450 per K. After my half marathon effort run, my legs start to feel fatigued and I need to push myself to speed up, which I think will be a struggle for me. But this is the goal of the workout, running faster at a fatigued leg to help build the strength and kick of the leg so that in a variant of the race, 
our leg can still working and running at our goal pace. Starting the workout with a 5 minute of VO2 max pace, the run felt very long and it was so tough. I got a pace of 450 per K. Then into the 60 second break, the time was just enough for me to regroup my mind. Then I have to go again for the 4 minute reps. I was running a little too aggressive in the first rep and I start to have some issue with my side stitch forcing myself to pull back. I hit the pace of 456 per K for the 4 minute reps. I tried to readjust and remind myself to go out a little bit more conserved in the next one. The side stitch issue did get better as I run with more control and I got 450 per K for the 3 minute reps. The session start to get easier as the duration get lower. The 5 minute reps was the toughest one in my opinion. For the 2 minute reps, I hit 452 and 427 for the 1 minute reps, pushing myself to the limit at the end of the session. I was so tired and gassed out but I still closed out the workout with 2k of cooldown. Overall, it was a tough but fun workout with a mix of intensity. You guys can go give it a try in your half marathon training. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the training vlog. There will be more training content coming up so subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye!